Hey, welcome to the Universal Network, you know what I'm saying? History Network, you know what I'm saying? And I am Jay Munchie, and today we will be reacting to history. We react to history. I make videos about history, discussion videos, topic videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually about to start doing essays again, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to start writing books on history, you know what I'm saying? I think it's going to be cool. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? This is an interaction, reaction video. That means that anything that is discussed or said in this video, you know what I'm saying? You can let me know if it's true or uh, true or untrue, okay? True or false, okay? Um, be polite and positive in the comment section when you're explaining yourself, okay? And no... I did not make this video, okay? All right. So some of y'all don't get your, don't get some of y'all be acting weird like I'm the person that made the video. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to this type of stuff, if this person is not a Thracian himself or herself, that we might hear a narrator uh, tell us the story. Depends. Most likely it is, or it's just going to be music playing. I don't know. But um, we got. The Black Sea, we got Bulgaria, we got Turkey, we got Greece, and then we got something right here, but we can't make out what it says. So with no further ado, and then we got something called Meritza. Is that how you say that? Meritza or Meritza? Is it Meritza or Meritza? The reason why I know how to pronounce that is because I actually know someone with that actual name, but they spell it, I think they spell it with two R's or something like that. Yeah, but anyway, let's get into this reaction video. This video, we are going to examine the ancient Thracians. The Thracians resided in an area that constitutes modern day Bulgaria, northern Greece, and Turkey. Ancient Greek mythology provides them with a mythical ancestor, Thrax, the son of the war god Ares. Ares himself so was believed to have been born in Thrace. The Thracians were considered to be warlike which probably explains why the Greeks connected them to the god Ares. In fact, Homer, in the Book of Odyssey, relates that Ares retreated back to Thrace after his love affair with Aphrodite was exposed. The earliest writing that mentions the Thracians is found in the Iliad. With Aphrodite. Yeah, you heard that. You heard that correctly. They are described as allies of the Trojans is that true or in the false? Trojan War against the Greeks. According to Homer, the Thracian king Rhesus supported the Trojans. However, he arrived late to the battle because his kingdom was attacked by the Scythians, mm. right after he received the news that the Greeks had attacked Troy. According mm. to the Iliad, Rhesus was killed in a nighttime raid launched by the Greeks. Mm. Diomedes and Odysseus killed Rhesus in his tent and then stole his prized horses. Wow. Similar to other ancient civilizations, most of the accounts of the Thracians are provided to us from Greek and Roman sources. Yeah, and uh, in modern, in, I mean, ancient times, uh, horses were treated with extreme respect. I mean, they still are to this day, but like royalty. Like a horse could be treated like a king or a queen, you know what I'm saying? They didn't have that title or nothing like that. Like, that's just, that would just be a little weird, you know what I'm saying? But they probably did have little special titles for them. I, I wouldn't be shocked. I probably even should, I, I digress. I shouldn't have said that. Y'all probably gonna be like, no, we actually did have names for that. I'm like, what you mean, bro? So let me let me check myself before I wreck myself. Greeks and Romans considered the Thracians to be mere bloodthirsty barbarians. The main reason for this was a lack of cities, but another problem was geography. Is that true or false? Because what? Because they had no, they have a lot of cities, so they are barbaric because of that. What was I saying they didn't have the the smarts to build multiple cities? That's stupid. But okay. I mean it already happened, so ain't nothing I say is gonna mean anything, but I'm just saying I just you know I did far in the north. Throughout most of their history, the Thracians were deeply the Thracia. divided. Thracia. There were literally dozens of separate tribes who often spent most of their time fighting each other. One of the most powerful like the Thracian tribes in the Middle the East, Dishrians, who you can see on the map right here. For a period of time, several Thracian tribes united to form a kingdom. 
But as I mentioned before, they never really unified. They into kept a large fighting empire. each other, just Another like in the Balkans. Another problem Thrace was a natural I mean, we invasion in the Balkans. to the east and west. Persians, Greeks, Scythians, Macedonians, and Romans, and Mas many I others would all fight for control of the me. region. Herodotus writes, quote, the Thracians are the most powerful people in the world, except, of course, the Indians. And if they mm. had one head, or were agreed among themselves, it is my belief that their match could not be found anywhere, mm. and that they would very far surpass all other nations. Mm. But such union is impossible for them, and there are no means of ever bringing it about. Herein, therefore, consists their weakness, end quote. In terms of warfare, the Thracians often... So, could that be the real reason why... We had World War Two started in Bosnia, right? You know, the whole World War, that was the fall of ex-Yugoslavia. So, I wonder, that's the same same pattern that keep, keep happening over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? Because, you'd be surprised why... The Balkans, the country, the Balkan countries did not want to stay unified, okay? Because they wanted a separate independence. Um, it was kind of like the fall of the USSR, if you think about it. It was the same. It's basically like the same thing. Different regions, you know what I'm saying? Certain people wanted this, their, you know what I'm saying? Uh, independence. They didn't want to live under certain rule. And this basically what happens... And then especially, like I mentioned, the Kurds do the same thing. Kurds not just are falsely accused as being terrorists, but they actually have a strong history of being called barbaric. That's why they have a bad name. So really the term terrorist is kind of the new modern day word for barbaric. Okay, just to, just to put that out there. Okay. Infantry. Using I mean, ain't got nothing to do with the Kurds. Ain't got nothing to do they with also this, did but. not shy away from close quarters combat. For short range encounters, they used weapons such as axes and swords. During ancient times, they proved to be excellent mercenaries, owing to their toughness in battle. The Athenians, Spartans, Macedonians, and even the Romans recruited the Thracians. Yeah, and at one point in time, they were recruited under different other countries, you know what I'm saying? North African countries. Okay, and use them as, I'm not going to say slaves, but as mercenaries like he just depicted. The Macedonians in particular utilized the Thracian horse and infantry the Thracian in their army. Horse. The Thracians also excelled as miners and goldsmiths. You can see oh, here one of these artifacts that has been recovered. That's a happy... And it shows a high degree of skill in metalworking. Herodotus also wrote about the gods worshipped by the Thracians. Quote, the gods which they worship are but three. Mars, Bacchus, and Dion. And Bacchus. Quote. Bacchus is interesting because the Thracians were known for producing excellent wine. Why out of all names I said his name? Okay, we're going to have to look that up. You, 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 you smash that like button and comment in the comment section what you think about that. How did I just pick out of the three names he mentioned, Bacchus, and he just mentioned Bacchus is the most interesting sounding. And I, ain't, I was about to say something, but never mind. He took the words right out of my mouth. Homer indicates many of Pause. their festivals involved the consumption of wine. And even more interestingly, mm. they drank their wine straight. This was mm. different than the Greeks who often diluted their wine with water. Many ancient historians describe the... Well, ain't that something, because we still do that now. Like, in the hood, right? If you dilute your liquor, you kind of a B I you know? <laughs> And normally, they... It's basically, the men, the women can drink their stuff their liquor uh diluted you know what i'm saying that's like um mixing it like uh what gin and juice gin and orange juice you know what i'm saying now that's a mix that is a normal mix but i'm talking about like chasing down some hennessy or chasing down some Hen uh, remy martin so yeah is almost universally having red hair. Modern historians mostly a... discount this and have concluded that the Thracians and many other groups of people often had different physical characteristics from those described by ancient sources. Okay, let's take a look at the timeline now. Be, see, he said the people had different identities, meaning uh, appearance-wise, 
So y'all can't hide. See, and then you're going to keep trying to go into deeper of the history. And it's like, you can't, especially when you say stuff like that. But, you know, I'm going to keep watching. Early Neolithic societies have been identified in the region dating back to 6,500 BC. So Many of these groups missing. thrived Always. on agriculture. And as I mentioned, Homer indicates the Thracians were participants in the Trojan War. Whether there is any historical reality behind the Trojan not, War remains open to debate. Many scholars debate, believe that not. there is at least a historical basis to the story, though many parts were likely embellished over the ages. Beginning in the 8th century BC, the Greeks began... And that's the possibility, too, the last thing he said. Could have been embellished. Could have been banned. It could have been burned. It could have been, you know what I'm saying, diluted. Of colonies throughout the Mediterranean. The first Greek colonies no in disrespect. Thrace were also founded in the 8th century BC, mm. mainly on the Black Sea. This mm. began to introduce Hellenic the culture Caucus to Mountains. the region, especially on the coastlines. A major event occurred in 513 Greece. BC when the Persians under Darius crossed the Bosphorus and invaded Thrace. Most mm. of the Thracians submitted without a fight. Given mm. their reputation in battle, many Thracians were incorporated into the Persian army. After subjugating the Thracians, Darius oh. invaded Scythia. This campaign, however, resulted in more of a stalemate as Darius retreated. So it's probably a good thing that I brought up the Kurds, because that probably was the time when the Kurds intermixed with the uh, people in the Balkans. There are Kurds in the Balkans. You know, I didn't say that. And it made it seem like they don't relate to this topic. They don't, but technically Thracians, which are Roman people and Romanians and Macedonians. I wonder, I believe Serbia has something to do with that too, but no, 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 no. He said Bulgaria, Turkey, and Greece. So, Serbia. But yeah, oh, uh, Croatia maybe, Kosovo, which was uh, I forget what it was called, the ancient name. Uh, damn, start with a D. Anyway, back to Thrace. The Persians placed Thrace along with Macedonia in the Scudra province. This and occurred Scudra. just a few decades before Persia's conflict with Greece. During the Persian Wars, contacts between the Thracians and Classical Greece intensified. Mm. After the Persian War ended, the Athenians and the Delian League began to set up trading colonies in Thrace. Mm. Thus, the coastlines of Thrace began a gradual process of Hellenization. However, tribes in the interior retained their independence. The Odrysian state would... That means everything been Hel Helen Helen Hellenified, basically. And um, that's why even to this day... The main three popular languages is uh, Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. The top ones. That's the Thracian well, that's kingdom that acquired power in the region. They were able to unify many of the Thracian tribes under a single king. Hmm. This likely occurred in the 470s BC, after the Persian defeat in Greece. Although the Odrysians maintained I was just about to say the order or Tradition weakened, especially after the Macedonians invaded the, in 353 BC. Philip succeeded in conquering Who the hell was that? Now that was like that was around us in the Serbian area. I never heard of that term or name before. Let me know in the comment section. And I guess uh Montenegro too, because you know Montenegro is not there. I wonder if that's because Greece, Turkey, yeah, that might have been the Montenegro, the modern day Montenegrins. I don't know. Y'all let me know. I know they're the people of Alexander the Great. Okay. All right. That's what, that's what I do know. Third portion of Thrace, the Odrysian kingdom effectively became a vassal state of Odrysian. Macedon and were expected to pay taxes to their new ruler. After Philip's death, the administration of Thrace was passed on to Alexander the Great. After Alexander's death in 323 BC, control of Thrace was passed on to his successors. However, during this period, some Thracian tribes were able to retain some independence. 
During the Macedonian Wars, Thrace was dragged into the conflict between Rome and a weakened Macedon. This benefited many of the tribes of Thrace, as they were able to achieve an even greater degree of independence. But this was short-lived as the Romans decisively defeated the Macedonians at the Battle of Pydna in 168 BC. Mm. Rome soon took possession of Macedonia, and with that, control of Thrace passed to Rome. What followed were several brutal revolts by the Macedonians and Thracians, but eventually both states were forced to submit to Roman authority. Thrace's status was that of a client kingdom in the Roman Republic. This situation lasted until 46 AD, when the Romans finally converted Thrace into a fully-fledged Roman province. You can also see some of the other nearby Roman provinces, Macedonia and Illyria. During the time of oh. the Roman Empire, many Thracians, especially members of the aristocracy, were granted the right of Roman citizenship. This had the effect of... Hey, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, let me know what you guys uh, know about some of the stuff he was talking about in this video, true or fact, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. I just dropped my whole goddamn cup of tea. I'm so mad right now.